So, uh, Matt, you're very interesting to me because you had, you're kind of new to investing, but last year, uh, and you yep. came through our courses. So your first year you've done how many deals? Uh, three. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah, closing three. So three, pro- three, three deals, four properties. Yeah, so we sold the first one in March. Um, we just went unconditional on an auction on our second one on Sunday. And uh, we just signed a conditional offer for the third one uh, today. And then the, the second project was a subdivision. So we, we bought, renovated, subdivided, and then we sold the section independently. So that's where that fourth property comes from in the three deals. Oh, cool. So you've done a, uh, you've done a subdivision. Tell us about that one. And where is it? Yeah, so that one was in, that was in Taranaki. Oh, yeah. And that was, so that was with a partner. This was a good one. So this was actually a, a partner brought the deal to us. Yep. And originally we were looking at uh, doing a new build. So we, we were going to buy, renovate, subdivide, sell, and then build, sell. And then that was, that was in March. So just as we were sort of coming up to COVID, we decided that we would just look at one of our exit strategies. And so we decided to go for a quick sale and get the section on the market and just get some cash back out. Uh, just because at that point there was a lot of a lot of uncertainty, and we knew we'd still make money with the section being sold. Well, I was going to say that's that's where we we capitalised on our third project, which was in the middle of COVID, yeah. when everyone was unsure what was happening. We sort of recognised, okay, this is a good opportunity, so we went oh, mad right. putting so in, getting, putting it off. Getting of COVID, you're unsure. You dump your um, section. Middle of lockdown, you become sure when you buy another one. Is that right? <laughs> this is this is correct. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Right. Well, that's good. So, uh, have you got some numbers for us on your on your subdivision? Can we have a quick chat about that? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll do my best to throw some at you. I guess what I can say is purchase like price. At, yep. Uh, yeah, where are we? Purchase price two thirty. And uh, subdivision cost. Um, I've got total costs are 154,000. So that's really we're working off. We're working off about 45 for the subdivision. Okay, so that's 384, and then that mm-hmm. leaves you with two assets. That leaves you with a a home, which I presume you've sold, or did you keep it? Yeah. So so the house mm-hmm. has gone at 370, and the section at 110. 370 and one one. Oh, so that's four eighty, mm-hmm. and it's cost you three eighty four. So you've got ninety six k as gross development profit, and mm-hmm. then out of that you've got some agents fees, I presume, maybe. No, that's all included. Oh, so, so, so it's right? a ninety five gross profit before GST and tax. Oh, cool. Okay, so GST would be thirteen percent of nine six, which is call it ten grand. You've got eighty six grand profit. Right, well, that's deal number one. That's very good. Um, that, was deal, that was deal number three. The oh, first awesome. one was, I would like to say, a learning exercise. <laughs> and what did you, okay, what was the deal? So that one, well, that was just a straight flip. So this is our first one off the bat, massive learning exercise. So oh, that yeah. was um, buy for 250. Uh, in the end, all up the costs were 75,000. So total cash in the deal was roughly 325. Sold for 379. So that was a, a smaller gross profit before tax and GST of about 53,000. Oh, that's not a bad learning exercise, is it? It's still, I've had worse learning exercises than that, I can tell you. <laughs> um, deal, deal number two? Uh, deal number two was not very exciting. Uh, this, was a, this was the one that we got during COVID. So we bought for 400. It was an absolute dive. It needed everything doing to it. Um, unfortunately, the costs blew out substantially on that one. So we ended up total cash in the deal was about 169,000. So our target profit was, you know, significantly slashed, which means total cash in the deal was roughly 560. So our sale price of 625, which was not super, not very great. Um, so gross profit of about 55,000. Yeah, 55k, and then maybe less some. Um... Um, maybe there's six grand for uh, maybe eight grand for GST 
that's 40, yep. 47 grand pre-tax. Mm. So you made 47 plus 53 is 100 plus 86, 186 of your first four deals, three, three, three deals and putting a subdivision. Well, that's, uh, that's very good, well done. So you've, you've done this from a starting point of no background in property. Uh, you come to our course, you listen to your mentors, and you've gone hard at it and uh, you've done three trades, well done. Because I've got a lot of people that are sitting on their hands, either busy uh, with their jobs, not making time to come invest in with us, or they're um, concerned about the environment, they're getting mixed messages from the media and economists versus, say, me and people like me that are in the game and you. Um, what have you got to say to them? you got to be in to win. That's yeah. probably the first thing is that you don't make any money sitting on the sidelines. And, you know, everyone's an expert, but very few actually take action. Mm -hmm. And so I think you have to be careful on who, you, who you're listening to. So, you know, turning off TV1 and TV3 news is probably a good start. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, dialing into some, some better education is probably a good idea. And also probably stop listening to people that are experts but aren't investing themselves. I've had a lot of, a lot of friends and family that have, you know, put the fear of God and, and everyone around them, but they're actually not investing in property and, and some have never. So for us, our strategy is really simple. We're just taking steps. We'd love to make, we'd love to make that, you know, that the big profits on the job, but if we can get something moving and make something, then that's going to move us towards our goal. So sure and steady. Okay. Well, um, I think you're very articulate and that's all very well said. I'll, you took the words right out of my mouth. So thanks so much for coming. Appreciate it. Awesome. Thank thanks, you, Matthew. Matt. No, no, really appreciate you and the team and everything that you've helped us with over the last uh, 12 months. Yeah, our pleasure. And well done for taking action. Mm -hmm.